Okay, today we are going to do a lab. It's called Animal Cell and Plant Cell Lab. It's an engineering lab. You're gonna create a three-dimensional representation of an animal and plant cell. Okay, and here's a picture of an animal cell and a plant cell and has all the different parts labeled already just so that you can see and remember the parts of the animal plant cell. Here's another animal cell, just to give you another look at it, and also uh, the plant cell. And then I gave you a copy of what I would normally give you in person, but since we're not in person, um, I still gave it to you anyways. This is a black and white picture of an animal cell. It's a coloring sheet. And it tells you to color each part of the cell, different colors like cell membrane, light brown, cytoplasm, light yellow. Okay, so you get the idea. And here is a copy of the coloring sheet for the plant cell. And of course, same thing, you would color it whatever color it tells you. Cell membrane is orange, okay. Nucleoplasm is yellow, and so on. And here's a copy of the answer key for how the cells should have been colored but you can go back and forth to practice so that you know the parts of the cells okay and then you're supposed to briefly describe the function of the cell parts so I'll help you with that uh, cell membrane is a barrier between the cell and outside endoplasmic reticulum is for cell transport Ribosome makes proteins. Golgi apparatus is packaging, processing, and secreting vesicles. Lysosome breaks down substances. Uh, microtubule is for cytoskeleton cell support. And mitochondria produces energy for uh, the cell and cell respiration. And the nucleus is the control center, and that contains DNA. Okay, and then you're gonna answer these three questions. Name two things found in a plant cell that are not found in an animal cell. And it would be a chloroplast and cell wall. What is the function of the chloroplasts? And photosynthesis would be your answer. And what is the function of the vacuole? It stores water. Okay, so here we are. Create an animal plant cell that are made from recyclable materials. Once you complete your model of the animal and plant cell, please label the parts of the cell for each. Take a picture or a small video of your final results. We will share with the class and compare the different models. Please use your materials that are around the house or recyclable materials, okay? If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you.